Hello everyone, welcome back to some more thrift store finds, and today was another decent VHS day. I've uh, been selling a decent number of VHS, and uh, when I could find them in the bargain room, and they're, you know, 50 cents or less a piece, depending on weight, that's always great. Found a couple things I want to lot up. First, this Bruce Lee VHS collection, and I was super mad I looked forever because this one set that forms a picture, I have volumes 1, 2, 4, and 5 could not find volume three anywhere, but I found some of these um, other Bruce Lee collection VHS to go with it as well. There are movies that aren't in that set. So that will be a good one there. And then a Don Bluth collection. Always loved Don Bluth as a kid. All dogs go to heaven. There's some Fern Gully, an American Tale. The Land Before Time, this one is my favorite. This one was one of the first VHS tapes that my family ever owned. Uh, first one was uh, Little Mermaid, and this was at least one of the first, like three or four that we ever owned. So I love that to death. And then Rockadoodle. And Rockadoodle is, this is a weird one because randomly, this is the only Don Bluth film that we're missing before I can do a collection video on DVD. I wanna grab it. We have every other Don Bluth film on DVD and or Blu-ray. Um, so it depends on, you know, which format I like different versions of. And Land Before Time, we have a couple different versions. But Rockadoodle, I just, it's such a common movie, but I've not stumbled across a just regular plain old DVD copy of that ever. I don't know why, randomly. Someday I will. But uh, that and then a whole stack of other classic kids stuff mostly. And then a few other finds, not a whole lot in the DVD or book department. Really wasn't great for that today. But I found some really good older cartoons and things like that. We have the Care Bears movie. And uh, this is the Yum Yums, The Day Things Went Sour. Some classic Barney, Barney Goes to School. Some of these Disney mini classics, uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. This was always a good one. Um, I have a couple of these. I think I'm going to make a lot of this for like holiday themed Disney mini classics because I have a few of those. One volume of DuckTales. And another one of the mini classics was some Winnie the Pooh and then Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. Some classic Garfield. Garfield on the town. The Flintstones. Wacky Inventions. This was a promo tape. And then a really old Hanna-Barbera, uh, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo from the Kids Classics line, you know, Volume 1. And that was it for VHS. Only one book find that was worth grabbing. There really was just nothing, and there were a lot of the, a lot of the bins were there from Amanda and I went the other day. Uh, didn't find enough to do like a full video or whatever, but a lot of them were still left over from that. But I found one book find, which is kind of weird. Uh, we have High Anxiety, the Mel Brooks film. Uh, novelization of that which is interesting there are a few you know photos from the set and things like that but this one in particular I feel like this movie a lot of the humor is visual like the majority of it with all its references to films especially Hitchcock in this one in particular but uh, the way things are portrayed visually I think is super important to why it's funny so it's kind of weird to have a book version of that like I don't know how well it's gonna translate that's kind of a that's an odd one uh, a few things never heard of this before but some sealed DVDs grabbed again the bargain room we have um, Ernest and Celestine never heard of that one but that's with the slip cover it's a G kids release and that one is sealed along along with two sealed PBS documentaries I found a bunch of sealed stuff before there found a couple different ones uh, so those are always good to grab if they're cheap and sealed and then two other ones, uh, Xena Season 2, and this is the later re-release, this is the, you know, the Universal release, not the, the old Anchor Bay sets, this is the one that's in like the Xena Complete Collection thing, so the re-release of Xena Season 2, and this is a movie that, this is weird, I picked this up, and I'm going to give it a watch, you know, grab it from the bargain room, because it's one of those that, I don't know how I've never heard of it, um, stars Robert Shaw and Harrison Ford, I really like Harrison Ford, but Force 10 from Navarone. And when I first picked it up out of the bin, I just kind of pushed it aside because it looked like, it was, oh, just a generic copy of Guns from Navarone. Like, I have that movie, and then you're just a generic copy of that, it's not really worth grabbing. And then I like, looked at, wait a minute, Harrison Ford? And it's, yeah, I'm like, is it related? It's a sequel. I never realized they made a sequel to the Guns of Navarone. 
uh, which was a great movie, and I'm assuming maybe I haven't heard of it because it's horrible? I don't know. I, I just, this is a weird one that, like, I don't know how I've never heard the, of this movie, that I have no idea that this existed, but I am going to uh, give it a shot. Uh, definitely an interesting thing. I love when that happens and you find a movie, you're like, wait a minute, I've never heard of that. And, you know, it could be awful or it could be a hidden gem, who knows? We will find out. I'm definitely going to give that a watch sometime probably this weekend. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure you tune in if you do like all the VHS stuff because this is all thrift store finds today, but recently I added some VHS to our personal collection, including one big box full of really cool stuff. So that'll be in the next video.